What's up everyone, it is Dark Viper and I am showing you a noob to pro video showing how to go from zero coin to a million coin in less than half of a day. It actually took me eight hours and I think I could have gotten it down to five hours. I had a couple glitches, a couple redos, and a couple things that I learned about the game that I think, you know, I wanna share with you too. One of the things that I wanna tell you though is if you are taking a standard approach of like harvesting wheat and, and carrots or onions or anything like that, throw that out the window, focus on a couple things. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go and cut down a bunch of trees so you can craft that wood and sword. You do need at least 200 coins, so you're gonna still be harvesting. You're still gonna be doing your usual stuff. You can actually do what I did and just keep bringing the wood in and then sell that to someone because everyone's looking for wood. No one likes chopping down trees. So I actually found someone that was super, super sweet named Burrito96. She actually bought the wood for me. She actually overpriced it. I could have actually like bumped that all the way up and got a ton of coins. But instead what I, I wanted to do is I just wanted to make sure I sold only one and then I dropped the balance to her so she wouldn't get scammed by <laughs> by little me noob. Definitely want to give a shout out to Burrito96 for giving a little bacon hair a chance. And I was actually leaving. She said, come back. And she gave me a, <laughs> she gave me a bag of a coins which is super super cool that actually helped me a ton i was at 200 coin but now i can actually head off to the island so let's go we're gonna go and squash some slimes we're gonna we're gonna kill them so slimes are actually a really really good way and proven way to get coin quick i would say this is way better than worrying about wheat or anything like that and the nice thing is you can just kind of kite these guys if you don't know how to battle these watch my how to play video first before you really get into this one because this one's more assuming you already know how to play and you're just kind of stuck and you don't really know how to make a bunch of money this video is all about showing you how to get a bunch of money and get to a million coin once you're at a million coin you're actually going to be able to have a lot of progress so keep going so actually when you're going in here you're also going to get some rare drops i actually got a buffalo core crystal right away it was like third i think it was like the third buff in i killed it and i got a crystal and it was great so i actually was trading with this guy gamer skull and i told him i didn't have a vending what he should have done was probably done this a little differently but what he did is he actually put the vending machine down on my island and i was like uh this is a little weird that he's giving me his vending so i actually had to turn this off because he could have stolen my stuff if he had full access he could have just taken my stuff and ran so i turned off build and then i was starting to i put the item in and i was starting to go up on the coin you see how he stole he took it he took it and then he starts trying to destroy it thinking i was noob enough to not have build mode off <laughs> So then we had kind of a little conundrum here. I thought he was trying to scam me. I think he really thought he was gonna be able to get away with this, to be honest, but I'm not sure, but we did resolve it in the end. I didn't really wanna show the chat because we did work it out. But you gotta realize in my scenario, I, I wasn't worried because I know how much vending machines are worth. They're actually worth anywhere between 100,000 to 200,000. And it was pretty much a fair exchange. If you wanted to take off with the buff crystal, we had a fair shake. We could, I could have sold the vending machine for pretty much what I would have sold the buff crystal for anyway. So it didn't really matter to me, but so we sorted it out here. You can see this chat ended up. And and then I went ahead and reset everything. So basically I, I put the crystal back in, he bought it, and then I let him have his vending machine back. I could have I could have penalized him big time. I could have just kept it all. But you know what, we, there's, there's a little trust in the world. But let me tell you, this is a great example of how anyone could get scammed if they didn't know what they were doing. I knew what I was doing. In this scenario, hey, if you want to take off with the item, I like vending machines, I need one, so it's all good. So I was invited by someone, then I spotted this. It's my build, it is my farm build, it's my auto farm build, and I was super excited. And uh, I was actually telling her, I was like, hey, this is cool. Do you, do you ever watch Dark Viper TV? And she's like, sometimes. I thought I was I was geeking out. I was, I was really happy to see someone that has seen my videos and had my build in their island. It's really, really cool. I'm hoping she will actually upgrade it. And then I, I came across this guy. He actually had onion totems for a really good price. Really, really good price. And I wanted to buy them all, but I couldn't afford it. One of the things you'll, you need to do as a newbie is trade. You're going to need to trade a ton. Anytime you join a server, ask to join people's islands to see what they have for sale because you can make a profit on a lot of things. Some things you're going to overpay on, some things you're going to underpay on, and that's how you level things out. In this case, these onion totems, I didn't really need them, but there was a really, really, really good deal. You know, why wouldn't I want to buy those? Because I can always sell those later. And I actually do in this video, you see, you'll see that I actually resell them for a profit. So definitely look for good deals. Don't scam people. If someone definitely tell someone if they've underpriced, tell them if they've underpriced, okay? Please tell them. And then they'll adjust it accordingly. But it's always good to be an honest trader. I, I firmly believe in that. So then I headed over to the official Discord server to 
sell my crystallized iron. I farmed from the different iron stack that I was harvesting from. I went ahead and listed it on the Discord and it's Dr. Lop actually was super kind to not try to scam. Basically, they offered to go first because they didn't. They, they had no problem with that. I'm actually surprised because they could have gotten scammed by a bacon head. I think it's because they recognize my name on the Discord that they're like, oh, that's cool. You know, I know this person's not going to scam. And I tried to give them a little extra back and they, they're like, no, they let me keep like, I think three grand. So thanks again, Dr. Lop. So one of the things I do want to tell you is I did have some people recognize my name during this video. Anything that I did was through trade. So it's very important that I want to make sure you know that there was no like YouTuber privileges here. This was all hard work. This is all 100% earned and I could have done even better if I wasn't trying so hard to do fair trades. I could have actually squeezed some people a little bit more than I did, but I wanted to make sure that this was actually pretty conservative as well. I could have squeezed on berry seeds probably like six or 7,000. I could have, you know, sold my gold for a lot more. I could have sold crystals for a lot more. I could have sold everything for a lot more. So I could have probably actually done this faster. But what I did was I just wanted to make sure I was paying fair, fair, fair prices. 8,000, no one really goes straight for 8,000. I do. I go straight for the 8,000 because right now that's kind of a fair market. But again, berry seeds are actually going up. So if you can get eight, if you can get seeds right now for that price, get it. Because here's the thing, you don't have to wash berry seeds and they're they're the most valuable thing for you to harvest right now in the game. It is, they're super OP. They're incredibly useful. And on top of that, you can, you're basically printing money when you harvest them over and over and over. So if you haven't watched my auto farm video for berry seeds, you should do that now because right now, just so you know, right now I make about 9 million per night and over 2000 berry seeds per night. So when I, when I, when I auto on this stuff, I make a ton of money off berry seeds. So definitely check out that video if you haven't already, because it's super powerful. So in the making of this video, one of the things that I want to tell you is the two most important ways for you to make money is going to be through fishing and from the slimes. Buff are actually okay. Like you, they're just a little bit more painful. You, you can, you can get the gold, but what I'll tell you is most people want the sticky gears because of the washing machines, they have to have those. Most people want the pearls because they have to have the washing in order to fix their farms right now. The things that are in demand are pearls, propellers. So if you can get a propeller, you're a millionaire pretty much right away. I mean, someone's going to, someone's going to pay a million for that right away. Um, at least as of this video. And then same for the, um, the pearls, pearls are going for about anywhere between 50,000 and hundred thousand as of this video. And then the gears, sticky gears, you can get about 20,000, 10, between 10 and 20,000 for a blue sometimes more, sometimes less. And then the greens are uh, are not very important right now, but they're good for vending machines. People need them for vendings. So they're usually going for about 20 or about 2000 to 2500. The key thing though, to take away from this is anytime there's a big update, people will pay a lot more for the things that are new. So look at anything, whenever you have an update, check out all the new machinery or anything that comes out and what it takes to craft them and charge a lot for it. And you're gonna make bank early, early on. Of course, values are gonna go down over time because the, the demand kind of depreciates. So definitely, you know, look into charging more for things like this. So like, that's why I'm saying berry seeds went up. They used to be able to get berry seeds for 3000, sometimes less. Now you're getting berry seeds for about 10,000. You know, um, you'll see a lot of people charging 10,000 and people are willing to do that. If you search the trading channel on the discord, what you're going to find is there's not a lot of people selling berries right now. And when they do, they're usually for 10,000. You will find some people doing a lot less, but you know, and you might see a lot of people saying, well, I sell my seeds for 4,000. You know, are you in stock? <laughs> are you in stock? Tell me, do you have stock right now? No. And even five now, you know, if you ask them, do you have stock? They're going to say no. If they do have stock, generally speaking, they're going to sell it in bulk or to some, uh, someone that they already have, that they already know. So it's just really, really hard for people to get berry seeds right now. So you're going to, you're going to, if you, if you're patient, sure, you're going to get a good deal, but people really want berry seeds right now. Um, there are updates coming. There are most likely going to be new berries coming as well. Keep an eye on the values in the trade channel. So I was actually trading with someone called Dark Master and I did notice their machine was stocked with seeds for 5,000 a seed and I was I was already willing to pay 8,000 so he actually increased it based on my feedback and I just didn't think it was a fair price. I mean I wasn't going to be you know taking advantage of someone that I was willing, especially when I told them at the start, I was going to pay 8,000 and they had it at five and they could easily get, they could easily get eight right now. People are, 
people are buying seed for eight. So, I mean, I, I, I sell seed in volume at 8,000 right now and I could be charging 10,000 people still buy it. So definitely, you know, want to make sure whenever you're doing trades, I know you're looking for that steal. You're looking for that great deal so that you can, you know, tell your friend, oh, I got a great deal. But here's the thing, you're buying from other players who didn't know better. You're not buying from Best Buy or some store that, you know, already knows. Like, you know, that there's a huge difference here. There's the people, there's the human aspect to this game that is very important. So at least warn and say, is that, are you okay with me buying at that? Because it's probably worth a little bit more. You know, at least make sure they're aware of it. That's your that's your duty as a human, in my, in my opinion. Now, if you're that type that just like doesn't care about anyone else, okay, whatever, you know, you know, you do you. So I was playing around with watering the crops and stuff, and I, I didn't really care for the additional work and overhead for that. I actually feel like it's just too tedious. Like there's already too much to go. Like like there's already too much to do. So I didn't really want to add like yet a third thing I had to do because I was already farming. I was already harvesting berries. I was doing all kinds of stuff. So I didn't really like doing it. So I was able to sell my onion totems for a bit more to someone on the Discord. And I was super happy about being able to do that because I made a little bit of profit. This is how, this is how you do it. You make a profit. And it's still a really good deal for them. 4,000. Most people will sell used totems for you know anywhere between 5,000, 6,000 around there. I mean, you're, you're already saving 2,000. So I found this crystallized iron for 15,000 and I knew, I knew this was a steal. This was a steal because I sell this stuff for 80,000, 90,000. And I wanted to make sure, cause I, I told him, I said, your cry, cry iron is a little too low, I think. And I said, it's too low priced. And he's, he's like, that's the price. You know, that's the real price. I'm like, okay, thank you very much. So I made a profit off this. I think I made about 65,000 off of it in the end. So interesting enough, a lot of people did this when I was playing. They were like dropping their venom machines and I thought that was just kind of a super risky thing to do. Maybe they consider it cheap enough, but I don't know. It just seemed really, really sketch. But you know, I did this again. I just went ahead and dropped it in there. I usually drop the item in right away so they know I'm not gonna scam them. Because honestly, crystallized iron versus a vending machine, vending machine is gonna be worth more anyway. So if you wanna take that item while I'm trying to bump things up, then I'll just keep your vending machine, that's fine. But thankfully, most were trustworthy about that. And so what I would do is I'd give them build access or drop it back to them after they were done. Um, generally speaking, I would I would tell you it's never a good idea to drop an item unless you you can handle um, you know losing it. And in, in this case, I have like 400 vending machines still, so I wasn't too worried about that <laughs> dropping that too. You know, while I was doing this, I was actually ex continuing to expand on. I actually got rid of all the totems for a reason. So I got rid of the onion totems because the onion totems were just not helpful. And here's why. When you're doing auto with the onion totems, you're not actually growing on seed. So if you're a newbie, I wouldn't even bother with onion totems. Actually, honestly, I wouldn't even bother with onions at all. I would just take the method that I was telling you and just trade and make money off of, you know, slimes and buff instead of bothering with onions. I actually think it hurt me more than it benefited because I kind of thought, well, you know, at least I could be doing something. So so I got the onions out and I was farm farming the seeds and I actually did make a bunch of money off the seeds later. But the problem is you're only making about, I think, when I did the math, it was like it was like forty thousand an hour, and I need to get to a million. So if you think about it, making forty thousand coin an hour is a really really bad deal. Especially if I can go and get a pearl inside this water within fifteen minutes, I could have fifty thousand by selling that pearl to someone that wants it. So I ended up with like I think four or five pearls within an hour. That's incredible, right? That's two hundred fifty thousand hours. So think about you got to think about the math here. If you're spending that much time on onions and berries, then maybe you should be spending that time on you know crystallized iron that that's going to give you ninety thousand, or you know pearls that are going to give you fifty thousand, and potentially a propeller that is in the water that you could actually get a million on. Like I could hit jackpot by doing what I was doing in the water with you know fishing. I could have ended up with over a million coin just in one go. Think about prioritizing what your actions are if you're looking to get rich quick in this game in this case i i kind of made some mistakes because you get bored and i think that's the key that's the key reason why a lot of people do what they do is they they, they get they get bored of doing the same thing over and over and that's kind of what was going on with me is like i already knew that the onions were a bad idea but i was bored i was bored of doing the same thing over and over i'm waiting for the berries for five minutes to respawn because so i actually did warn tickets fly that i was going to disable build access and made sure he was comfortable so he knew i wasn't going to scam him and then I sold, <laughs> I started clicking on the onions because I thought they were the pearls. And then, so I was probably freaking them out a little bit, but then I put the pearls in. So basically it's just, it's just better in my opinion to, um, 
you know, make sure you're communicating with them before you do stuff. And then make sure you're shutting off build access again right afterwards. So I kept getting these pearls. I was just getting, I don't think it was luck or anything. I didn't have, you know, I don't have the pro pass. I don't have, I didn't, wasn't even using bait. I think you get pearl like maybe one every, I would say hundred fish, maybe. I mean, it's got, it had to have been less. It had to have been less. I felt like I was getting it more than a hundred, uh, but who knows? But I would definitely recommend uh, go to that go to that pond and start you know farming pearls because you might get that propeller. If you get that propeller, you're gonna be rich right away. Just don't try to charge five million like a lot of people were. Like no one's gonna pay five million for a propeller when you can buy the washing machine for five million or less. A lot of people are selling the washing machines for two million and three million. So why would you pay one part for five million? Um, you could sell it probably for about a million right now. I think you're gonna probably see a lot of people are gonna drop that to 500,000 soon. The price is going down. Um, so just because I'm saying this on the video doesn't mean it's gonna be priced this way in two months from now. So definitely, again, check the pricing on the Discord. There's there's gonna be updates since this video. There's gonna be all kinds of stuff since this video. So it's all about supply and demand. I don't know why though, I just kept getting these pearls. It's crazy. So Oblivion HD fan and I have actually done a lot of trades over time. I'm um, actually, I always give him a really good deal. So it didn't really benefit me by trading him other than it just saved me some time finding a trader but i actually took probably about a twenty thousand coin loss every single time i sold these with him at least between a minimum of ten thousand each time that i lost so there's not really an advantage that i knew someone other than it just saved me a little bit of time for sure did take a huge loss like i said so i could have actually saved some money by trading with someone else but you know he was around and i was like hey you want to buy some pearls and he's like yeah i want to buy some pearls so i sold the pearls dumb no matter what state you are inside the game too you know you can go on the discord right now as soon as you start playing the game and start making connections and say hey if i farm pearls would you buy them how much would you buy them for and they can kind of tell you well you know what the the market's going this way or that way you know you can also ask them hey what do you what do you need the most what's what's moving right now and i didn't even do that and i should have got another pearl they're actually really easy to get i don't know why and i had a buyer for some of my pearls for fifty thousand. i started bumping my price up a little bit because i was just i was just you know, looking at my looking at my balance and I'm like, you know what, I need to start charging a little bit more. So I bumped that one up to fifty thousand. So going back out, I wanted to get some of these slimes because the gears are actually worth quite a bit. And I think I I think I acquired about maybe four or five thousand worth of gears. And then I went back to Buff Island and you know, really farmed a lot of the gold. I was hoping I would get another crystal. And, you know, but ultimately even if I didn't get the crystals, I would have gold that I can uh basically farm for anywhere between 2,000 and 3,000. So if you smelt the gold, you can get up to 3,000 a piece. A lot of people are buying it for 3,000. They're not really, the difference between 2,500 and 3,000 is not significant enough for someone to say, uh, eh, don't really want to pay that unless they're paying a lot. So I actually got a crystallized iron though while I was farming, which was kind of cool. So that was an easy, you know, 80,000, 90,000 for me. Just, you know, going around, just trying, trying everything. So I was getting gold, I got crystallized iron, you know, you're getting iron ore, which is kind of worth something. It's not worth worth a lot, but you know, it's definitely worth just going to the islands and grinding. That's a really, really good way for you to get a lot of coin quick. So if I were to start over, all I would probably do is I wouldn't even bother with my heart farm. I wouldn't have bought any berries either. So what I probably would have done doing this over again is I would have just kind of got good weapons and continued to upgrade my weapons and, and save my money instead of buying berry bushes. I probably would have just kept farming the buff and, and slimes and the fish. That's all I probably would have done. And I probably would have been able to cut this time back down to like maybe three hours before I became a millionaire. That's just how significant it is to fish. And the problem is it's not very passive right you know it's it's not very resting it's not good for if you want to rest a bit you can't you're pretty much active trying to kill stuff and catch stuff constantly so it's there's there's definitely a big difference in payoff the other thing i would say is if you are a new player now i didn't get a chance to afk much in here but if you're a new player what you really really want to do is you want to get one of those auto farm builds for onions even if your your stuff's oiled you can eventually get a wash machine but ultimately if you are trying to afk overnight definitely look into my auto afk for for berry farms but you can also look into just creating an auto farm into a storage bin for onions that you can just auto click on that's another great way of doing it but i didn't do any of that with this to be able to make a million I, everything was super active everything was through trades and i think trades are often underutilized by most players they get lazy a little bit and they don't want to do trades and they don't want to go around and buy stuff and make profit but i think that's actually half of this game where you're going to find is trading is actually 50 percent of skyblock so if you're not trading you're not really fully playing it what trading does come to getting scammed and I have done a trading video. If you haven't seen that yet, you definitely, you know, watch the trading video. There's some easy signs of like, okay, whenever someone asks you for build access, that's kind of a right away.
away. That's you know red flag, red flag. Most likely scammer. You're probably like you're you're probably at about a 90% scammer kind of ratio there. If someone straight up asks you for build access, you're probably about to get scammed. If someone asks to borrow something, you're probably going to get scammed. So you got to be really, really careful about these things and think about, you know, like, would you ask someone that, you know, what's the intent there? So I ended up selling all of my onions because I didn't need them anymore and the money could go elsewhere and it helped me tip over to the millionaire kind of area. So I was actually, I became a millionaire by selling all these. Super happy about that. So I had some more onions to sell to him. All right. So I finally made a million coin in the game. I'm, I was so happy. That was, that was, that took, I didn't think that was going to be able to be reached because it was just getting a little slow for a while there and things started picking back up. So big shout out to Obi for buying some of my stuff at wholesale as usual. And Phoenix, Phoenix was actually really funny. He kept trying to offer me stuff and I had to keep refusing during the video. He's like, oh, I know, you know, it's dark, it's dark. And so I'm like, no, I can't take anything. So no. And then at the end, I actually took a little bit of money just so I could actually beat Rage Man, who had 1.2 million in the list. And I was like, hey, give me a little bit of money so I can move up on the, the board. But I made about 1.1 million in this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope some of this was actually super helpful for you. If it was, let me know in the comments. Definitely try out some of these tactics. I think you're gonna have a lot of money if you do. And if you have any questions, you know where to hit me up on either Discord or in the comments below. And uh, if you're new, definitely subscribe so you can get more Skyblock videos. I We'll be doing a lot more builds coming up here. I've got a lot of cool stuff. Uh, I'm, I can't wait to reveal to you, but we've got a lot of Skyblock videos planned. And thanks again for everyone who's congratulating me on 10,000 subs. We finally hit 10,000 subs. I'm so happy. So here's to the next uh, 10. Maybe we're going to 20, 30. I don't know how much, but thank you all. And I'll see y'all next time.